Hello, in this video, we'll do a quick overview of our free beam calculator that's available on clearcalcs.com. So first things first, when you come here, you'll see this little thing. You can look at our terms and conditions, privacy policy, and hit, I agree. If you see here, we support this in both metric units and imperial units. In this case, I'm gonna to stick to imperial units, but all the content I'm discussing here is just the same in metric units. We've also got a how-to article that explains a lot of what I'm going to discuss today. But let's scroll back to the top and go through these inputs. So first things first, the length of our beam. So we do support multi multiple span uh, beams. Um, and so here you're going to want to enter the total length of your beam. So say if I had a multi-span beam that's two supports, I would still enter, say, 30 feet, even if both spans were only 15 feet. Next, I've got my Young's modulus. So that's going to be, in this case, 29,000 KSI, which is that for steel. We've got the area of the cross-section. Now, this has relatively little effect on our analysis calculations. So typically, you can almost even ignore this input, though you might want to just enter your cross-section null area. After that, we've got our second moment of area, and this will be critical in calculating our deflections. Next, we've got our positions of support. So I said earlier that we mentioned multi-span beams. So we've got here uh, two pin support, right? So zero and 30, we can see here in the diagram, we've got a pin support here and a pin support here. If I wanted to say, I could change this to a fixed support and Immediately, we'll come back to this later, but you can see that the moment curve changes. I could also add another fixed support. I could just type in L over two. And now I've got my support here in the middle. And you can see here that my moment diagram also changed. So continuing here, you can click here. Unfortunately, these are not available in our free version, but in our full analysis version, we do support spring supports, continuous supports, uh, inclined rollers, um, a lot of, of advanced functionalities. Next, we'll go into our load. So we do support distributed load. So you would enter this in PLF in the US and kilonewtons per meter in other jurisdictions. Um, we support trapezoidal loads too. So you can see here we go from 100 to 1000 pounds per linear foot. I could also go from zero to 1000. And then I can see here I've got this trapezoid, this triangular load. And I could also just have it uh, flat curve just like this no problem i can also change the start and end location so if i only want say my span to go to my load to go for only half a span i can do this l over two and i could say also add another load and maybe this one is 200 200 and my one might go for the other span that's no problem and i can see it shows up here i can also add point load so a point load if i wanted to say do a thousand pounds and i could say add this at l over four and it's here or i could just type in say at 20 feet and there it is continuing here we've then i'm going to jump actually to this side now uh, this is where we show you the results right so you'll see the highest moment in the beam so in this case because it's a uh, continuous beam and a fixed support, we can see 21,700. It's at this end right here. Next, I've got the shear demand. So you, we can see here, we've got quite a few things going on. So my shear diagram is a little fuzzy, but 8,000 pounds, I can see that's at this support as well. Um, after that, I've also got my maximum deflection. So again, if I scroll down, I can see my maximum deflection is right in the middle of this band here. And then here, this one is quite limited. So Keeping going now, I've got my reactions here. So if I hover, I can see ultimate reaction is almost 10,000 pounds here, 1,000 pounds here, 10,000, and I've got the moment reaction, 21,700 pounds. I've got my shear force diagram here, my bending moment diagram. So we can see we've got negative moment here, positive moment here. And lastly, I've got my deflection curve, which is based on my moment of inertia and my Young's modulus. Lastly, I've also got a nice free body diagram just to show the total load. So 1,000 PLF, 200 PLF, and 1,000 pound. And it also shows my reactions. If I wanted more details, I can go here in the first span analysis. And we'll see we've got positive moment. I've also got my quarter moments for each span. This comes in quite useful if we're doing, say, lateral torsional buckling calculations and we want to calculate our equivalent moment factor. And I've also got my negative moment. 
I've also got my deflection for spans. So if I've got spans of uh, different lengths, so maybe my support is actually at 10 feet instead, then I might tolerate um, higher deflections on this longer span because it works out to L over 360 or something. So here I can see the different um, deflections. Lastly, I've got my per, su oops, per support analysis. And all this is, is it tells me the reaction at the support, the moment at the support, and the shear at the support. So that's about it for our free analysis calculator. If you've got any questions, feel free to click the blue help button here. You'll see we've got quite a few articles on getting started in clear calcs. And you can also send us an email at any time. We'll be happy to reply as fast as we can. Thank you very much.